Hello and welcome back to more DML. So, as you can tell from the title of the video, this little cutie moon rabbit dragon right here is going to be the next dragon of the week in DML. So this guy has been a breedable dragon of the week before in the past, but he is making his return on Monday along with the new divine event. So I'm sort of happy that it is a repeated dragon so I don't have to worry about it myself, but of course, the combination has been revealed to us. And so if you want to breed the Moon Rabbit Dragon come Monday, you need to breed together a Leaf and Tesla Dragons. And there are only like seven other possible outcomes. There's no shared breeding time. So it's actually a lot easier than say the most recent Dragon of the Weeks have been, especially the Bludgeon Dragon. We don't like to talk about him because of the 9 billion orange dragons that have suddenly, I guess, turned up in DML because of that event. And like about 90% of epic dragons, the little moon rabbit, he might look cute, but I probably wouldn't recommend for you to be using him on a team because he just isn't good enough. So like all of these dragons just sitting in their habitats, he will sit there and be rejected probably until the end of time. Rest in peace. But aside from him, you know, I have had a bone to pick with this stupid Otto's Lotto Ace Dragon stuff because in three days I've collected six pieces and that is it. Six pieces for this stupid dragon in three days. As in, I've watched every single ad video I can and I only have six out of 20 pieces. Come on, why? Please, game. Do you really have to cuck me this badly? Do I have to watch Disney Magic Kingdoms 900 times before you give me this dragon? Come on! Come on! Come on! Of course it's more food. I hate you, game! Eh, whatever, we got a couple more pieces, we'll do all that later. It's just so boring having to wait for it all. So... What else do we have to do in DML in the meantime? Uh, not an awful lot, I don't think. I mean, there is a gem promotion on at the moment for the 600 gem chest. But honestly, instead of buying this bundle, you are much better off just buying the clam. Because 1600 gems for 16 pounds, a 16 pound bundle is still quite a lot. But it's still better value than anything that they actually put into those things so eh it is what it is it is what it is and what is a what is one of our apprentices doing here nothing oh it's just telling me they did a golden opportunity event thing okay i mean i'm happy for them don't get me wrong i'm happy for them but did i really need that notification <laughs> Now that's rude. That's rude. I'm, I'm not like that. You know, I'm happy for all of my apprentices and seeing all the work that they've done. I'm proud of it. Well, then let's get rid of him. We get some gems out of that. That's fine. I like that. And we've already done all of our daily quests for now. So we don't really have too much in particular that we have to do. So I guess we'll just do some enchantment stuff for now. I have been hoarding a little bit of food again. Although, to be honest with you, I have not been doing that many fights in DML. Like, literally, I have just been keeping track of all the Divine updates, new news and stuff like that. But I really haven't been playing DML that much the last week. And I mean, if we're gonna have, like, a month of straight event, after event, after event, I mean, come on, let me have this week break, please. Because we had events before this week as well that we had to do. We've had the boss challenges, dragons delight. Oh, I remember back when DML used to have events like once every month to like couple of months. Now look at us. We're getting like major events every couple of weeks. It's insane. I mean, if you just have too much to do with your life, I can imagine why a lot of people would just drop off and stop bothering with the events because I mean let's be completely honest if you actually want to do most of the DML events you have to be on the game like pretty much quite frequently 
So you, you can't just have a full week where you just go, yeah, I'm not going to bother with DML because there's a new event out, especially during the Divine stuff. It's like, if you don't log in for week one of the event, you can't get the dragons that you can get in week three of the event. Because stuff like the Ra and the Hathor and all that, you have to have been logging in for the entirety of the event that's coming up. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I do plan on doing other stuff within these Divine Weeks, but I'm not sure how I'm actually going to manage everything together. But I'm sure most people have that sort of sentiment. It's like, oh my god, how are we actually going to manage doing our day-to-day -day stuff while these Divine Events are on? Unless they've made the events, like, super duper easy, which they might have done, to be fair. We can't tell yet. And, you know, the amount of data mined images and that that I have been sent at this point is, like, ridiculous. And obviously I can't realistically talk about any of it because we don't even know if it's real or not. So I'd rather not just start off complete, you know, fake rumours about potential elements and stuff like that until it's officially confirmed. But I really don't care about the elements of the upcoming Divines that much. We already have the best Divines that we could need, really. Apart from the Plant Shadow Divine that has been um, rumoured to be coming, of course. But I don't know. I don't even know if our team is going to really have any changes made due to the upcoming dragons, to be completely honest. I just don't think we really need to. But whatever. You know, I hope that the events are easy enough so that most players can at least have a good shot of getting at least one of the divines. At least make Anubis easy to get. Like, come on. Like, Ra, fine. Make him tedious to get on purpose, but just make the, the opening event nice and simple so most players can get a hold of it. That's all I ask for. But man, I mean, we've got all of these battles to do, we've got all of our daily fight tokens as well now. I just don't know, should I upgrade our Archangel now? I think I might just wait until the Divine Event itself starts, because we've got like 20 million food at the moment. Our Archangel's like level 62, so I think we might keep hoarding and hoarding, and then when we get like 50 mil, maybe we'll level him up a little bit, and then maybe enchant him a little bit as well, because how many materials do we need? Um... Oh, we need quite a few, obviously. I mean, we can fuse a little bit here. We can get an extra, extraordinary piece. So we're four away from level three. So he's going to be pretty strong relatively soon. I mean, as soon as you get one level eight tier, it feels like they just keep coming. They never stop. Never stop coming. And that is not necessarily a bad thing. From my perspective, of course. But... Uh, I feel bad for the people that, you know, are so busy grinding for so many hours a day that they just don't feel like they're getting anywhere. I mean, I've been playing for three and a half years now. So, you know, I just go with the flow, don't really care too much, barely do any fights. But that's me. I feel bad that this game is just so incredibly grindy. So at least give people some nice divines out of the event. Okay, Game Loft? Okay. Hope we decided on that. And I did see some really interesting forum leaks uh, quotes that were posted on there about some Cleopatra dragon. And I have no idea if it's real or not. I'm just mentioning it here because I've seen a lot of people mentioning something about a Cleopatra dragon. But the name and image files haven't been revealed or anything to us quite yet. So, there's a good chance it could just be fake. But the the actual design that I saw that was show, showing it off, it looked pretty cool. So, you know, even if it's just some fake fan art that's designed to, like, mess with people and go, Ooh, there's a Cleopatra dragon coming. You know, it's still nice to see fan art, even if 
is terribly misleading, I suppose. I'm not going to put the picture up because in the very rare case that it is real, you know, let's let's not let's not annoy anyone by releasing some early stuff. Sound good? Yeah, I think that sounds good. <laughs> uh war is me. I I just you know, I worry so much about releasing info early that isn't official because some of the stuff looks so official. And then it probably will be true anyway. But, you know, I, I really try and keep it to just the stuff that we know of. But people send me so much stuff. And I want to talk about all of it, but I can't. It's like, you have to have so much self-control. It's unreasonable how much self-control you need. It's like when 10 people send you the same image, it's like, look at this, look at this cool new thing. It's like, ah, well, thanks for sending it. But now you've basically forced me to, like, zip my mouth up for the next month before it gets released. Fantastic. But, eh, I guess I know in advance a little bit potentially what could be coming. So I'm not too mad at the end of the day. But, you know, it is now... Almost exactly 2 a.m. It's 1.59 a.m. I think it's probably time I go to bed. And, um... I say that, I probably won't fall asleep for like another four hours, but... That's just how it is. So, for now, guys, look forward to the Moon Rabbit Dragon coming. Look forward to the Divine Event coming on Monday as well. Make sure you are prepped for everything that is coming up. And until next time, I will see you then.